ത്രിയേക ദൈവത്തിന്റെ അതിപരിചിത നാമത്തിന് മഹത്വമുണ്ടായിരിക്കട്ടെ വന്യ വൈദിക ശ്രേഷ്ഠരെ ക്രിസ്തുവിൽ പ്രിയ സഹോദരങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ എൽസിക്കുട്ടി മാത്യു ബ്രൂക്ലിൻ ക്യൂൺ ലോങ് ആലൻഡ് റീജിയന്റെ ഏറിയ റെപ്രസെന്റേറ്റീവും സെന്റ് മേരീസ് ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് ചർച്ച് ജാക്സനറ്റിലെ മെമ്പറുമാണ് പരിശുദ്ധ ദൈവമാതാവിന്റെ വാങ്ങിപ്പ് പെരുന്നാളിലേക്ക് നാം പ്രാർത്ഥനയോടും നൊയമ്പോടും കൂടി ഒരുങ്ങുന്നതായി ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ ഹോളി ട്രിനിറ്റി റിട്രീറ്റ് സെന്ററിന്റെയും മർത്തമറിയം വനിതാ സമാജത്തിന്റെ ആഭിമുഖ്യത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ നടത്തുന്ന വെർച്വൽ കൺവെൻഷന്റെ നാലാം ദിവസത്തിലേക്ക് നാം പ്രവേശിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണല്ലോ അതിധന്യമായ ഈ നോയമ്പ് ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ കൂടി നാം കടന്നു പോകുമ്പോൾ ഇത്ര വിലയേറിയ മെസ്സേജസ് ഓരോ ദിവസവും നമുക്ക് തന്ന് നല്ല നിലത്തിൽ വിതയ്ക്കപ്പെട്ട വിത്ത് പോലെ ദൈവവചനങ്ങൾ നമ്മിലേക്ക് ആഴത്തിൽ വേരുന്നി ഇറങ്ങുവാൻ ദൈവം ഒരുക്കി തരുന്ന ഈ അവസരത്തിനായി കാരുണ്യവനായ ദൈവ തൃപ്പാദത്തിങ്ങൾ ഒരായിരം നന്ദി സമർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എന്റെ കർത്തവ്യത്തിലേക്ക് കടക്കട്ടെ ഇന്നത്തെ ഈ കൺവെൻഷനിലേക്ക് കൺവെൻഷനിൽ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനായി കടന്നു വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരെയും ഒറ്റ വാക്കിൽ സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്തുകൊള്ളുന്നു നവ് ഐ ആം ഇൻവൈറ്റിംഗ് റെവറൻഡ് ഫാദർ സണ്ണി ജോസഫ് വികാർ ഓഫ് സെന്റ് മേരീസ് ഓർത്തഡോക്സ് ചർച്ച് ലിണ്ടൻ ന്യൂ ജേഴ്സി ആൻഡ് ഫോർമർ വൈസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഓഫ് നോർത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് അമേരിക്കൻ ഡയസീസ് മർത്തുമറിയം വനിതാ സമാജം ഫോർ ദ ഇൻട്രോഡക്ടറി പ്രേയർ ആകാശവും ഭൂമി എന്നറിയപ്പെട്ടിരിക്കുന്ന പരിശുദ്ധൻ 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 ക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ടവനെ ഞങ്ങളോട് ധരണ ചെയ്യണമേ ദൈവമേ നീ പരിശുദ്ധനാകുന്നു ഭരവാനേ നീ പരിശുദ്ധനാകുന്നു മരണമില്ലാത്തവനെ നീ പരിശുദ്ധനാകുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ടവനെ ഞങ്ങളോട് ധരണ ചെയ്യണമേ കർത്താവേ ഞങ്ങളോട് കരുണ ചെയ്യണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവേ കൃപയുണ്ടായി ഞങ്ങളോട് ധരണ ചെയ്യണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ നമസ്കാരങ്ങൾ ശുശ്രൂഷയും കൈക്കൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങളോട് ധരണ ചെയ്യണമേ ദൈവമേ നിനക്ക് സ്തുതി ദൃഷ്ടാവേ നിനക്ക് സ്തുതി പാപികളായ അടിയാരോട് കരുണ എന്ന വിശിക രാജാവേ നിനക്ക് സ്തുതി പാറക്കുമോ സ്വർഗസ്ഥനായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പിതാവേ നിന്റെ തിരുനാമം പരിശുദ്ധമാപ്പെടണമേ നിന്റെ രാജ്യം വരണമേ നിന്റെ തിരുവിഷ്ടം സ്വർഗത്തിലെ പോലെ ഭൂമിയിലുമാകണമേ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആവശ്യമുള്ള അപ്പം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് തരണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കടക്കാരോട് ഞങ്ങൾ ക്ഷമിച്ചതുപോലെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കടങ്ങളും പാപങ്ങളും ഞങ്ങളോട് ക്ഷമിക്കണമേ പരീക്ഷയിലേക്ക് ഞങ്ങളെ പ്രവേശിപ്പിക്കരുതേ പിന്നെയോ ദുഷ്ടങ്ങൾ നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെ രക്ഷിച്ചു കൊള്ളണമേ എന്തുകൊണ്ടെന്നാൽ രാജ്യവും ശക്തിയും മഹത്വവും എന്നേക്ക് നിനക്കുള്ളതാകുന്നു കൃപ നിറഞ്ഞ മറിയമേ നിനക്ക് സമാധാനം നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് നിന്നോടുകൂടെ സ്ത്രീകൾ നീ വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെട്ടവളാകുന്നു എന്റെ ഉദരഫലമായ ഞങ്ങളെ കർത്താവെ ശിമിശിക വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെട്ടവനാകുന്നു ശുദ്ധമുള്ള കന്നിക മർത്തവറിയമേ തമ്പുരാന്റെ അമ്മേ ഭാവികളാ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ോഴിയപ്പോഴും ഞങ്ങളുടെ മരണനാഴികയിലും ദൈവം തമ്പുരാനോട് അപേക്ഷിച്ചു കൊള്ളണമേ പിതൃത്രൂഹായ ദൈവമേ ഞങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരെയും തിരുസന്നതി സമർപ്പിച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഈ ശൂനോയോ കൺവെൻഷൻ ഇന്ന ദിവസം സംബന്ധിക്കുന്നതിന് പങ്കുയർന്നിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവരെയും അവിടെ നിന്ന് അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ എന്റെ പിതാവിനാൽ ആകർഷിക്കപ്പെടാതെ ആരും തിരുസന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് വരുന്നില്ലെന്ന് അരളിയ നാഥ എന്റെ ആഗ്രഹപ്രകാരം ആകർഷണ പ്രകാരം ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ ഒത്തുചേരുമ്പോൾ ദൈവസാന്നിധ്യം ഞങ്ങളോടൊപ്പം ഉണ്ടാകണമേ ഇന്നത്തെ ഈ കൺവെൻഷൻ അനുഗ്രഹമായി തീരണമേ പങ്കെടുക്കുന്ന ഓരോരുത്തരിലും നിന്റെ ദൈവാത്മ ചൈതന്യം പകരണമെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ദൈവോചനം പങ്കുവയ്ക്കുന്ന 
സീനയത്തിന് മുമ്പ് ആ സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഇവിടുന്ന് ആരോഗ്യം കൊടുക്കണമേ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മ നിറവിൽ ദൈവോചനം പങ്കുവെപ്പാൻ തപ്പ തക്കവണ്ണം എല്ലാ ശക്തിയും കൃപയും നൽകി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിന് പരിവർത്തനം ഉണ്ടാകത്തക്ക വിധം ഇരുവായിത്തല വാളിനേക്കാൾ മൂർച്ചയേറിയ വചനം നിങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയങ്ങളെ ആത്മപരിശോധനയ്ക്ക് ഇടയാക്കുന്ന ഇതിന് ഉള്ള അവസരമാക്കി വരുന്ന നിമിഷങ്ങൾ നൽകണമേ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു എല്ലാ ക്രമീകരണങ്ങളെയും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി സർവോധം തിരുസന്ധി സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു ആയത് ദൈവം മാതാവായ പരിശുദ്ധ കന്യകമൂർത്തു പറയാം അമ്മയുടെയും ശേഷം എല്ലാ ശുദ്ധിമാന്മാരുടെയും ശുദ്ധിമതികളുടെയും പ്രാർത്ഥനകളാലും അപേക്ഷകളാലും തന്നെ ആമി maybe you know, I, i think i am i was muted i am calling this yes, uh, zinat vargis kochamma mma secretary of st mary's orthodox church stanley allen for bible reading today's scripture reading is taken from st john chapter 6 verses 26 to 40 st john chapter 6 verses 26 to 40 barak more jesus answered them and said most assuredly i say to you you seek me not because you saw the signs but because you ate of the loaves that were filled do not labor for the food which perishes but for the food which endures to everlasting life which the son of man will give you because god the father has set the seal on him then they said to him what shall we do that we may work the works of god jesus answered and said to them this is the work of god that you believe in him whom he sent therefore they said to him what sign will you perform then that we may see it and believe you what work will you do our fathers ate the manna in the desert as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to earth then jesus said to them most assuredly i say to you moses did not give did not give you the bread from heaven but my father gives you the true bread from heaven for the bread of god is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world then they said to them then they said to him lord give us this bread always and jesus said to them i am the bread of life he who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst but i said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe all that the father gives me and will come to me and the one who comes to me i will by no means cast out for i have come down from heaven not to do my will my own will but the will of him who sent me this is the will of the father who sent me that of all he has given me i should lo- lose nothing but should raise it up in the on the last day and this is the will of him who sent me that every one who sees the son and believes in him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up on the last day I mean Barak more and to you belongs the praise of God Barak more Thank you Kachama Now I am inviting Mrs Mercy Panikar area representative of Bronx Westchester and Connecticut and Boston area to welcome Mrs Sina Matthew associate minister of St Gregorius Madangara Orthodox Church Ben Salem Thank you good evening to all as we are prayerfully entering into the fourth evening of Shunoyo Virtual Convention 2023, I would like to warmly welcome each and every one. I would like to welcome Reverend Father Shibuvi Matai, Vicar of St. Gregorius Church, Benzalem, and the Director of HDRC. Reverend Father A.B. Paulos, Vicar of St. Gregorius, Orangeburg, and the Vice President of Martha Maria Vanilla Samajam of Northeast American Diocese and all reverend and very reverend fathers who are present with us tonight. We are very fortunate to have with us our guest speaker of tonight's event, our beloved Mrs. Sina Matthew. 
even though she's a popular speaker and a great teacher to us. I Hello. Sorry, you can I continue? I'm sorry. I think I was free to. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, let me go back again. I'm sorry. Uh, even though Mrs. Sina Matthew is a popular speaker and a great teacher to us, I would like to give a nutshell of her background and a brief overview of her accomplishments. Mrs. Sina Matthew is the wife of Dr. Matthew, who are blessed with parents of Master Joseph. She's the daughter of Reverend Father K.P. Varghese of Baltimore, granddaughter of Reverend Father Professor K.J. Matai. Mrs. Sina holds a bachelor's degree in bioinformatics and computational biology, as well as master of arts in, the, in theology. And she also earned a master's degree in theology. Mrs. Sina had taught at St. Vladimir's Seminary and worked as a resource coordinator of the youth and young adult ministries of the Greek Archdiocese of America for three years. She was the curriculum writer for Gospel Light, Worldwide and World Vision. Mrs. Matthew had represented Malankara Orthodox Church at the World Council of Churches in South Korea. She was a profound teacher of Divya Bodhanam series that was conducted by MMVS of Northeast American Diocese for 10 years from 2010 to 2019. She's currently working as an associate minister at St. Gregorius Church, Benzalam. We are honored to have you, Mrs. Lena Matthew, my hearty welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mercy. Now the virtual welcome. Yes, Nina. Let's start. Thank I'll you. Go ahead and share my The power of Kimor, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Let's say this prayer. You may say it along with me. O heavenly King, the comforter, the spirit of truth, 
who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, so good one. Kartave in the Veda Pramanathan and Alpha Guiding Lake Kano and Yanga Hude Kandanga Prakash Pikaname. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening. I'm really honored to be here, uh, respected fathers, uh, parents, brothers, and sisters in Christ. Thank you for having me once again. Um, I was hesitant to come and join, uh, especially because I was trying to help. Uh, Shibhajan find other speakers and Shibhajan asked if I can speak so and someone that we tried said no so uh, here I am and let me also just share that I'm recovering from a cough so if I need a cough break I will give you a coffee break but God willing by your prayers I'll be okay so thank you once again thank you I am really happy to be here um, I was part of this last year as well uh, thank you for having uh, having the patience to listen to me tonight once again. Um, as we all know, we've been going through this fast of Shunoyo. Shunoyo no minna divsingal kuda madha vinda vangi pu perunal nu vendi namlo urungeyan. And we've been hearing about Saint Mary and how we can model our life after her. And we've been thinking about uh, her qualities and how we can change. Uh, our lives to uh, be more like her, uh, be more holy like her. Uh, today, my focus, what I want to call the uh, title of this is Becoming Theotokos Through Our Sacramental Life. So I would like to focus on the sacramental life of the church uh, in, a, in an angle of the Old Testament. Uh, so uh, as we all know, we call St. Mary the Theotokos. Madhavina Theotokos in the Vakaranamla Ubeikinad. And uh, I'm sure you all know what it means. It means God bearer, Devate Vahichaval and Nartaman. And uh, that name is given to her uh, because she gave birth to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So when we call her the Theotokos, we are also acknowledging that Jesus is, is the Son of God. Jesus is God Himself. Um, and she bore Christ, she bore God and brought him into the world. And that's why we call her the Theotokos. But I would say she's the true Theotokos, not only because she physically bore Christ, but also because she received the word of God and did the will of God. And I shared about this last year as well, and I'll take a different angle tonight. Um, in this passage, we see why Jesus himself proclaims her um, as someone who does the will of the Father. And it's clear um, in the in this passage that's in all synoptic gospels. Uh, um, father, uh, they are uh, the brother, sister, and mother. And Saint Mary um, was able to fulfill that, not just physically, but also spiritually, because she did the will of the Father. And um, one thing I want to focus on is the work of the Holy Spirit and her interaction with the Holy Spirit. During the Annunciation, she receives the, the Holy Spirit. Um, another instant where we see uh, St. Mary present is when the Holy Spirit descends upon uh, the Apostles on the day of Pentecost. She was also there. She is there in the midst. And her cooperation with the Holy Spirit is really what allowed God to take shape in her. Um, Annunciation literally, uh, so I would say that um, the work of the Holy Spirit is what I want to focus on tonight. Uh, when St. Mary received the Holy Spirit and cooperated with the Spirit, God took flesh in her. 
Um, and we too can receive that Holy Spirit and, and allow God to become alive in us. Um, so my question is, have you received the Holy Spirit? Namaka Holy Spirit in Feel free to unmute. Yeah, Namaka. Yeah, Namaka. Yeah, Namaka. Yeah, I'm sure you're all saying our baptism, right? During our baptism, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we receive the Holy Spirit. Um, and that work of the Holy Spirit continues as we continue the journey in the church. Um, and that's why we have uh, different mysteries of the Holy Spirit. Uh, sacraments in our Lavaka, we prefer the word mysteries in the Orthodox Church, but we do use uh, the word sacramental life. Um, and we are all aware of the sacraments that we consider um, as the sacraments, as the mysteries of the church, the baptism, chrismation, holy confession, kurbana, matrimony, ordination, and anointing. Um, so what I would like for uh, us to focus on tonight is um, images of these in the Old Testament, especially in the life of the Israelites. Uh, and I wanna connect that to how each of us are called to be Theotokos. And I, I shared about this last year as well, but I want to take a different angle this time. If we cooperate with the Holy Spirit, we too can become God bearers. And what allows that? Our journey in the church, that's the process of Theos, is the journey to become God bearers. Devate Vahichu, Devate Logatini Kodukuna Rai Tiran or journey Lang Namla Sabhila. And this sacramental life can transform us into God bearers. Um, so I'm sure you know what this uh, picture represents. It's the story of the Israelites who left Egypt, and here we see them walking. Uh, on dry land across the Red Sea. And we are all aware of this story, um, but I wanna connect our lives to their lives. Uh, what happened to the Israelites? They were under slavery in Egypt under Pharaoh, uh, but God frees them. God frees the people of Israel from Egypt and under the leadership of Moses, God brings them out of Egypt and takes them on a journey. And it's a long journey uh, into the promised land. Uh, but God provided for them. There were struggles. There were so many uh, struggles on the way, but God provided for them on the journey and finally brought them into the promised land. So I would like for us to identify ourselves with the Israelites and go on this journey from Egypt to the promised land. Um, first, realizing that the Israelites' liberation from Egypt is our liberation from our slavery to sin. So uh, I will share a few parallels. So Egypt can be seen as the world, Pharaoh represents Satan, um, and the slavery in Egypt uh, represents slavery, our slavery to sin. And Moses, of course, prefigures Jesus Christ, and the promised land is the, is the kingdom of God. And our journey um, in the church, in the world, is represented by the journey of the Israelites through the wilderness. Um, so seeing that parallels, now we can go into uh, the images of the sacraments in the story of the Israelites. Um, it's really a journey on becoming God bearers like St. Mary, because we know that St. Mary has the highest honor um, given in the church among the saints. She's honored highly. Um, so our goal should be to be like her, to be, in fact, to be like Jesus Christ, but she's someone who um, got closest to that, closest to that perfection. Uh, even though she was in uh, need of a redeemer, just like each one of us, she was able to achieve greatness because she bore Christ and brought him into the world and was able to live a holy life. So let's look at these uh, sacraments um, in the life of the Israelites. So we start at the Red Sea. Uh, obstacle is the Red Sea, right? When they come there, um, <laughs> this is, you have to pass this to go to the other side. That's the first, uh, that's the first obstacle they had to face. Um, and that's also the entry into the promised land. And that's, that represents our baptism. 
നമ്മുടെ ബാപ്റ്റിസം ആണ് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ കാണുന്നത് ദേ ഹാവ് ടു ഗോ ത്രൂ ദ വാട്ടേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ബാപ്റ്റിസം ആൻഡ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി വി സി ദാറ്റ് ഈവൻ സെയിൻറ്റ് പോൾ യൂസസ് ദാറ്റ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് കൊറിന്ത്യൻസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ടെൻ I want you know I want you to know brethren that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea so uh, paulos apostolen thanne id nammade maamudisa maite compare ede ezhuthittund um and uh, it's it's a battle that we that initiated really uh, that's why origin one of the early christian writers said Uh, you have come to the water of baptism that is to the beginning of the struggle and spiritual battle hence for you the beginning of the battle against the devil is born bum avade chengadil thodangi yatra oru oru yuddhamana it's a struggle that they continued for 40 years there are so many things that happen on the way um just like that in our spiritual journey there will be struggles there will be struggles and the devil will be after us and that we see that clearly in in the story of the egyptians um and the israelites the egyptians pursue the israelites uh, the the chariots were and the horsemen of pharaoh uh, overtook the camp overtook them at and camped at the sea and um can you imagine being at the red sea munnilla chengadalla poragila egyptians and that's a scary uh situation that we might face a lot in our lives not just in our spiritual lives but in our daily lives as well but at that time endana mosha mosha mogandram mosha oda devam parnathu you only need to be still the lord will fight for you you only need to be still palapolu aa stillness achieve cheyanana namukku prayasam ആ ചെങ്കടലിന് മുമ്പിൽ നിൽക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് കാൻ യു ട്രസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മൈ ഗാർ ഇസ് പവർഫുൾ എനഫ് ടു ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദി സിറ്റുവേഷൻ തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് യുവർ റെഡ് സീസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ഹവ് ഷെയർ ദിസ് അതർ ഒക്കേഷൻസ് അസ് വെൽ വെൻ ഐ സ്പോക്ക് ടു മർത്തമഴി സമാജം ഇൻ അതർ ഒക്കേഷൻസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് യുവർ റെഡ് സീ തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദോസ് ദോസ് തിങ്സ് ഇൻ യുവർ ലൈഫ് ദാറ്റ് യു കൺസിഡർ എസ് എ റെഡ് സീ and in those situations are you able to say that my god is powerful enough to take care of me and this my god is bigger than my problems uh don't tell god uh, that you have problems tell your problems that you have a bigger god now don't tell god how big your problems are tell your problems how big your god is so even though we are pursued you know god is with us god will take care of us um especially in our spiritual life we need to be sober be watchful uh patros apostolum parina the your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour and this is a struggle that will continue till our last breath so i just wanted to show you that uh, presence of uh baptism the image of baptism in that so as we continue let's go to the other sacrament that goes along with baptism that's holy chrismation ആൻഡ് ക്രിസ്മേഷനിൽ എന്താണ് നടക്കുന്നത് മൂറോൺ കുദാശയിൽ കൂടെ നമുക്ക് പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനെ ലഭിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് വി ഡു ദോസ് ടു ദോസ് ടു സാക്രമെന്റ്സ് ടുഗെദർ ഇൻ അവർ ട്രഡീഷൻ റൈറ്റ് നൗ ആൻഡ് ആസ് യു മൈറ്റ് ബി അവെയർ ദർ സെവറൽ സിമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് വെൻഡ് ഫയർ വാട്ടർ ഓയിൽ ആൻഡ് വി സീ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇൻ ദ ജേർണി ഓഫ് ദ ഇസ്രേലൈറ്റ്സ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് എക്സറസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഫോർട്ടീൻ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ വെയർ ദ പാർട്ടിങ് ഓഫ് ദ റെഡ് സീ ഇസ് ദെ um then there's the tabernacle i'll go into each one of them um the pillar of cloud pillar of fire um so e jangadil bhagikunnad enganeyana in exodus 14:21 we see then moses stretched out his hand over the sea um and all that night the lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land adu oru windinte kaatinte oru presence nammal avada kaanum അത് ഞാൻ ഒരു സൈൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഇന്റർപ്രിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാണ് വി സി ഹൗ ഗാഡ് വാസ് പ്രസന്റ് വിത്ത് ദം ഇൻ ദ പിലർ ഓഫ് ക്ലൗഡ് എ പിലർ ഓഫ് ഫയർ പകൽ മേഘ സ്തംഭം രാത്രി അഗ്നി തൂണായി ദൈവം അവരുടെ കൂടെ നടന്നു 
again, that those can be interpreted as the presence of the Holy Spirit. Uh, also, the tabernacle is seen as the physical, uh, seen as the presence of God. That assured, gave them an assurance that God is with them. So that's that's the second sacrament I wanted to go through. Um, then holy confession. Did they have confession? Um, it's interesting how, uh, you know, it, it's not declared as a sacrament, but actually if you look at it, there are instances. So I'll give you some examples. In Leviticus 5 and no Numbers 5, uh, it says, uh, if someone can grab the Malayalam Bible as well uh, for um, Numbers 5, please, Malayalam Bible. Meanwhile, I'll read the Leviticus chapter 5 in English. When a man is guilty in any of these, he shall confess the sin he has committed, uh, and he shall bring his guilt offering to the Lord for the sin which he has committed, um, a female from the flock, a lamb or a goat for a sin offering, and the priest shall make atonement for him for sin. So here we see a confession, someone uh, who has sinned coming and uh, making a confession, and the priest making an atonement for him, for his sin. Also, we also request prayers for us uh, during the offerings that they will offer during Holy Kurbana and our priest offer prayers for all those who are confessing, specifically for the atonement of sin. So we see that here. Uh, can someone read Numbers chapter 5, verses 5 through 7 in Malayalam, please? Yehova be named Moshe or Early Chenda, Ne Israel Maklo de Paraga, or a Purishana Strio, Yehova de Drohichu, Manisha Redale, Nadapula Valla Pabo and Chay the two, Kutaka Raya, Chay the Pabam, our eight to Paragi, Tangal da Agrithiatinu, Perdishandiai, Mudalum, Adin de Angelo Nunguti, Tangal Agrithian Chay the Venu, Pagar and Kudukan. Thank you. Yeah, here again, another instance. Uh, many of these passages are repeated between Numbers, Leviticus, and Exodus. Um, in other passages, too, you'll see the same thing. But here, we, what we are seeing is the presence of uh, confession. Um, in the Orthodox tradition, we also have the concept of spiritual father, a uh, spiritual father who guides not just as an, uh, as, uh, um, just to forgiveness of sins, but also to guide us in our spiritual life. And we see an instance of that as well here. Uh, Jethro, who is the priest of Midian, who is also uh, the father-in-law of Moses. But now he gives counsel. He gives counsel to Moses. Um, he said, what you're doing is not good. You and the people with you will wear yourself out. And he says, listen now to my voice. I will give you counsel and God be with you. Um, I see that as a representation of what the spiritual fathers do today in the church uh, as spiritual fathers guiding us uh, through confession and out of confession as a spiritual father. Um, so we see a representation of holy confession in the journey of the Israelites um, here. Um, and um, there was a major change that happened in the life of uh, Moses uh, because of the advice given by Jethro. Um, and and that's that's we are called to do the same to seek advice from our spiritual fathers in our journey because uh, we we do need help and uh, a priest or a spiritual father um, or a spiritual mother in, uh, if we can find one um, can help guide you in your spiritual journey in your walk through the promised land. Um, moving on to the next sacrament. Uh, Holy Kurbana. This is very, very clear. We know this language very well in the language of the church uh, that Holy Kurbana is represented, especially because of manna. Manna, kittida, other, um, we have clear language in the New Testament and in the language of the church in our prayers that uh, Holy Kurbana is represented there. Um, in Exodus 16, uh, we see manna and the quail. Uh, Exodus 17, water from the rock. And Exodus 15, um, bittersweet water sweetened at Mara. And I'll go into those. Um, let's look at uh, the, the instance where they get manna. Um, now, the house of Israel called its name manna. It was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. 
So this was something that God gave them throughout their journey. And in the, when we come to the New Testament, um, before I go there, uh, again, we also have quail. Um, because people complained. People complained that they don't have meat. Uh, so then God rained meat from heaven. Um, so God provided what they needed for their nourishment. But today, now we have manna for our wilderness. And that's um, Jesus Christ himself. In the passage that we heard, uh, um, uh, we see Jesus declaring, and we see uh, Jesus talking about Moses uh, and how the Israelites were fed. And he talks about how your your fathers ate manna in the desert, but they died. But the but the uh, bread that I give, which is I'm myself the bread of life, um, the one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. So we see the holy kurbana represented there, and um, we are given that manna. Um, just as uh, the Israelites were fed, we are fed in the church uh, through Holy Kurbana. The living manna is given to us um, uh, in our spiritual journey. Uh, there's another instance where there's water coming from a rock, and that's Exodus chapter 17. Um, I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb, strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel and he called the place Masa and Reba. Um, but again, there is a comparison um, with that in the New Testament on the cross. One of the soldiers pierced his side while Jesus was on the cross with a spear and at once there came out blood and water. And St. Paul interprets this, you know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, we read, uh, I want you to know, brethren, <laughs> uh, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same supernatural food and all drank the same supernatural drink. For they drank from the spiritual supernatural rock, which followed them and the rock was Christ. And St. Paul uses that language that um, that what uh, interprets the cross and what came out of there. That uh, so what happened in the Old Testament was was the um, was prefiguring what Jesus did on the cross, and He gives us the living waters. Um, going back to uh, um, another. Uh, event where the Israelites were given water. Uh, so when they came to the place Mara, um, they could not drink the water of Mara because it was bitter and it was named Mara. Um, and then um, he, uh, the Lord showed him a tree and he threw it in the, into the water and the water became sweet. Um, I would say this, this is, this tree is the tree of life, the tree of life, which is the cross. Um, and when Jesus, when Jesus transforms, uh, uh, jo goes to where there there's bitter water, it becomes sweet. Uh, God is able to transform our lives. Our lives might be bitter, but God can transform it into sweet um, and sweet wine as well, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. But I want I want to, um, as a side note, mention um, something about Mara. Mara is the name of the place that they had uh, the bitter water made sweet. Avade namal kaanna oru kari. Mara ennolla vaakil ninnana Mariam ennolla peru. Mary ennolla vaak orulla peru kittunathu Mariam ennolla Hebrew vaakil ninnana. And that comes from the Hebrew root. Uh, root words, the possible roots are palladu um, Hebrew roots uh, uh, drop. Uh, which is Mar and Yam is sea, drop of the sea aga, or beloved, which is the Egyptian root, but also the Hebrew Mara, bitterness and bitter. Um, so, Maria Minola Vakindartan thane, bitterness And we know that her life was one um, of bitterness. You know, Madha Vahirdetil Elam Samgrehichu and Nana Parida, her, she. Put everything in, in her heart, and uh, um, 
വെൻ ഷി ടുക്ക് ദ ബേബി ലിറ്റിൽ ബേബി ടു ദ ടെമ്പിൾ സിമയൻ പറഞ്ഞത് എന്താണ് ഒരു അസോർഡ് വിൽ പിയേഴ്സ് യുവർ ഓൺ ഹാർട്ട് ആൻഡ് ആ സോഡും കൊണ്ടാണ് മാതാവ് നടന്നത് but she became the beloved one and she is the beloved one to uh, the son of god um so i just want to mention that mara the name mara and the connection with mariam um uh but again when mariam worked with the holy spirit she produced christ the living water who makes our bitter life sweet uh going back to this i just want to mention something um you know where are avasarathilum devam യേശു വെള്ളം ട്രാൻസ്ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ആസ് മിസ് റൂത്ത് പോയിന്റ് ഔട്ട് ആസ് ടുഡേ വിഴിഞ്ഞ് തീർന്നു ദേ ഹാവ് നോ വൈൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മാതാവാണ് ഇൻ സെന്റ് ജോൺസ് കാസ്പോ വെരിങ് ഇൻ കെയ്ന സോ അവിടെയും ഒരു മറിയാം മാറായില് മറിയാമും ദൈവം കൂടെ വന്നപ്പോൾ അവിടെ ദ റിസൾട്ട് വാസ് അമേസിങ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ജസ്റ്റ് വാൻ റീഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് verse as well in 27 um where uh, then they came to elam where there were 12 springs of water and 70 palm trees um madav kanail cheyidathu pravartil kude yeshu thande parisa sisrushe aarambikkiyana and what came out of that public ministry towards the end of that I mean the they there were 12 apostles and 70 evangelists and so so we see that here the numbers uh, bible odanilam uh, in numerology numbers interesting anna to see how uh, it can the old testament new testament can make uh, there are connections we see a lot of things happening in the new testament represented in the old testament here is another instance 12 springs of water and 70 palm trees representing the 12 apostles and the 70 evangelists Uh, okay moving on to the next sacrament anointing um in exodus 30 we see um the description of how to make holy oil for anointing um not going into the details but there's a uh, detailed descriptions of how to make this holy oil for anointing namakariya nammude sabhayile moron kudash oru elaborate process aan adina Uh, more than 40 spices i think are used and all these uh, you know this is it, it models after like what is done, what was done in the old testament um make these into a sacred anointing oil and you shall consecrate them so they will be most holy and whatever touches them will be holy a uh, holy oil bekina nammal kaanunnundu israel jadide edey um another instance I mean, holy anointing in the olla sacrament ko da namaku kittunathu paapa mojanu roga shanti both namal we misunderstand uh, the sacrament as uh, end of life sacrament but it's not what we are praying for is really healing and uh, forgiveness of sins appam idu are parnu vidanulla oru sacrament all this is actually we are praying for healing um and we see healing happening in the life of the israelites uh the story is also i'm sure everyone is familiar with the no- numbers chapter 21 uh healing received when they looked upon the bronze serpent um not going to read the whole story but uh this we know the story um when the people murmured against god you know they became they they started dying and they became sick but as uh, god commanded moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole and if a serpent bit any man he would look at the bronze serpent and live avade vere serpents undarunu adil kuda marichu povan sick ayor when they looked at the bronze serpent uh, they they lived we too are bitten by the serpent adam nil thodangiya aa 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 temptation ippolum continue cheyunnana but we have to look avangalek nokke or prakashidarai and we know that verse and how that is interpreted in the um in the language of the church and uh, especially in uh, john's gospel 314 we read as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so must the son of man be lifted up so we see that resemblance um how moses raises the bronze serpent and just like that 
that Jesus Christ is raised and those who looked upon him um, receive are receiving healing. Let's move on to the next um, sacrament, uh, holy ordination. Our ordination and I don't know. In the Old Testament, we see uh, clear um, descriptions of consecration and priestly vestments in Exodus chapter 20, 25, and 27. Yagangal um, uh, descriptions on the uh, Exodus 29 and Leviticus 8. Um, Aaron and sons are consecrated as priests. Um, there are clear descriptions of uh, priestly vestments in Exodus 28. You know, um, priestly vestments of Kanamada. There's a lot that we borrow from uh, the Jewish tradition, from the life of the Israelites. Um, so yes, we see the holy, uh, we see the holy ordination also represented in the wilderness. Did they have the uh, sacrament of holy matrimony? Of course, they had 40 years. Their people were marrying and they were given in marriage and there are um, many laws concerning marriage and sexual morality and also um, sanctity of marriage tested and how <laughs> um, married life should be considered. There are many laws around it. So clearly there was uh, holy matrimony as well there, not the way we see uh, uh, the matrimonial uh, service today, but of course uh, uh, people were getting married. So here we have all the all the sacraments that we consider today as the uh, the seven sacraments are represented in the life of the Israelites. So um, I just wanted to take you on that on that journey from um, the Red Sea, and as they continued their journey in the promise uh, towards the promised land, God guided God guided them. You know, um, it wasn't easy. But God provided a uh, directions for them. Right? Uh, you probably have different apps. You might use Waze. You might use Google Maps. But or a few years before, we used actual GPS, separate GPSs, right? So God provides provided them um, uh, a directions, and that was through the Ten Commandments, through the commandments and all the laws that were given to them. But in the New Testament, we are also given a new commandment, which is the summary of the Ten Commandments and all the laws in the Old Testament, um, which is to love, uh, love God and love one another. That's 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 the new commandment, and that's written on our hearts. And um, it is when we become God bearers that we understand this, right? He laws allam padikenda, ashe madavinda kurta God bearer agwe anangil. We will know. We will know what the law is, right? And that's our goal: to be God bearers and know that, uh, know what is right and what's wrong, um, when there is no clear direction. Sometimes, and our life in the world is a struggle. The world is getting harder and harder. Uh, it's hard to discern uh, how to live as a Christian in the in the world today. But uh, the closer we are to Christ, God will give the direction. The Holy Spirit will guide us uh, on how to make decisions, how to discern good from bad. Um, so I would say, um, let's use our liturgical life as our GPS. I call it God's path to salvation, GPS. Uh, and he has given us uh, ways and, and it's um, that includes the sacraments, sacraments of the church, the mysteries of the church. Um, it's, it's, it's a package that's, um, that has other elements as well. Scripture, uh, almsgiving, uh, reading the lives of the saints, um, but the sacraments are a major part of our life in the church, especially in you know, Holy Kurbana, which we uh, partake every week. Um, we have to keep our GPS updated, you know, have daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly updates. Um, along with sacraments, we have liturgical prayers. We have daily cycles. We have been doing the prayers every day. Um, and so we have to keep our GPS updated. And each prayer that we do is, is a moment of updating our GPS. Having a weekly liturgical life, you know, uh, then there are feast days throughout the year. Um, there are fasts throughout the year, which I'll mention in a second. 
Um, but we have to keep this GPS updated so that while we are in this journey towards the promised land, towards becoming God bearers, um, that we have the latest, we have the latest uh, directions from God. We have to be, be connected to the satellites, right? Sometimes internet connection directions to get temperature. You have to be connected to the satellite. Satellite connection program Bardila, we have to be connected. Um, and we will make mistakes. And we will uh, make mistakes in our life. Um, and then we might get guidance saying recalculating route. And um, but then we need to pay attention. And especially through the sacraments of holy confession, holy kurbana, we can recalculate the route, uh, the route that we are on and come back to where God wants us to go. And hopefully, God willing, we can hear the words, you have reached your destination, oh, good and faithful servant. And that's what we are aiming for, to be faithful to God um, so that we can be, um, we can be like um, Christ, be God bearers like St. Mary. Uh, having talked about, you know, the sacraments, I just want to mention how we have uh, another part of the liturgical life is fasting. And Moses fasted for 40 days and Jesus fasted for 40 days. And we too are, you know, given fasts as, pa as part of the GPS package given by the church. Um, we are all aware of these fasts. But all the other fasts are Nativity Fast, Nineveh Fast, the Great Lent and the Apostles Fast. And also we are supposed to fast every Wednesday and Friday. Um, so these fasts can also, you know, all these are nourishments. They had to fast. Uh, and we too uh, must have that. And this is fasting, surprisingly, not eating actually is a nourishment. Uh, um, even if we think, you know, we are um, fasting from it, it's actually nourishing our souls. Um, so the church provides the tools to make us God bearers. And I just focused on the sacraments mainly and mentioned the fast as well. Uh, but all these can, our liturgical life uh, comprise of all these things. And these can um, make us God bearers. Um, so I just want to look at the life of the Israelites and how um, they were taken on a journey that's similar to ours. Um, Christ brings us out of the slavery to sin, um, just like uh, Moses brings people out of Egypt. Um, we are taken through the waters of baptism and we are led uh, through the journey, led through the wilderness into the kingdom of God. Um, and he feeds us on the way and nourishes through the sacraments and mysteries of the church. Um, Moses prefigured Christ. And through the cross, we are now given access to the tree of life, uh, to that tree that makes our bitter waters sweet. Uh, so what is our calling? Our calling is to leave the life in Egypt and always desire to go forward. There's no limit to how close we can get to Christ, right? There's no limit. Always there's room for more growth. Um, so there is each prayer that we say, each sacrament that we uh, take part in, they are all uh, moments of spiritual growth, uh, moments of uh, growth towards holiness, moments of growth towards um, being God bearers and, uh, and moments to bear Christ and bring him into the world, just like St. Mary did. Let's desire to... Leave Egypt. You know, the Israelites poona vari kokka parin. Yengalay endi naan vada kundan nata. Yengka avada madala naariyenge ondarnu, ulli ondarnu, matte ondarnu. I vada yeng kundu illa. It's interesting. It's funny to read those complaints. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, that and we often do that, right? And we don't desire. We just settle for Egypt. Don't settle for Egypt. There's more. Um, there's always more. So there's no limit to how close we can get to Christ. Always strive to go forward in our journey towards holiness. Um, and this battle is real. Egypt till then, Aranyond Matram Pora, right? This 40 years were a lot of struggles for the Israelites. They, um, they had to fight many nations on the way. 
പിതാക്കന്മാർ ഇന്റർപ്രറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലും ദർ ആർ മെനി നേഷൻസ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ അസ് മെനി നേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് സെൻ ഇറ്റ് മൈ ബി ദ നേഷൻ ഓഫ് ആംഗർ നേഷൻ ഓഫ് ലാസ്റ്റ് നേഷൻ ഓഫ് പ്രൊക്രാസ്റ്റ് നേഷൻ വാട് എവർ യുവർ സ്ട്രഗിൾ ഇസ് വാട് എവർ യുവർ സെൻസ് ആർ യു നോ തിങ്ക് ഓഫ് ദം ആസ് നേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് വി നീഡ് ടു കോൺകർ ഈച്ച് വൺ ഓഫ് ദം ആസ് വി വോക്ക് ടു വേർഡ്സ് പെർഫെക്ഷൻ വി ആർ നോട്ട് perfect but we are called to be at least on the way that's our calling that's the process of theosis be on the way uh try to battle these nations that are within you um and this battle is real and then paulus apostle namal orpikunathu the language that we hear in uh, ephesians chapter 6 um sar devathina sarvaidha vargam tharichulga ennana parayunnathu because our our battle is not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers of uh the dark force so e battle real on so we really need to step up our uh action um because we can face that every day every day uh the enemy will try to take us away from holiness take us away uh from walking towards the promised land but we need to fight we need to fight because our god is bigger than our uh enemy than the enemy so we need to uh put our hope in the lord and go forward with hope that there is a promised land and as um partakers in the sacramental life of the church we are actually in the kingdom already um we are journeying in the kingdom uh, but still going forward to uh, completion of that kingdom um so i would say i would request that as we go through this fast the shunaya nombu um our call should be to step up our uh, sacramental life allowing um christ to increase in us um yohanan snaban parnad pole may he increase and i may decrease um so we need to allow christ to grow in us madav engane christuvine avul thanne valthi eduthu pole we have to receive the holy spirit now allow christ to grow in us and we can bring him into this world um the world that is so in need of his love namal uh, as each christian is you know we are called to be god bearers wherever we are adu nan ulladathu ningal illa ningal ulladathu nan illa so uh, each of us have to do a part you know so we all have a, you are unique and you are called to represent christ you are called to be god bearer in the in the families that you are placed in the community that you are placed in the workplaces that you are placed you are unique and there's nobody like you so allow yourself to be god bearer wherever you you are so that you know like saint mary we can bring christ into this world and through that um you know christ uh is is christ wins because this world is um is not is still under is vulnerable and uh, we are still under uh, the control of the enemy but god is in control uh, as long as we allow him to be in control um and the sacramental life of the church will allow us to um allow us to increase christ in us allow christ, uh, christ to grow in us so i pray that this will be our goal as we uh, go forward uh, towards the end of the shuno in number um i want to end uh with this prayer which i know i used last year as well but i want to share this prayer um which is the oldest prayer we know dedicated to the virgin mary uh known as beneath your compassion and uh this was found uh in some hymns back in 8250 um and as we are on this journey when we are uh continuously uh attacked by the enemy by different nations uh, within us uh, we need to ask for protection um oru prayer und protect me beneath your veil madavinte a veilinagathu nammale protect cheyan prarthikya so uh, we are asking um, virgin theotokos to help us and to protect us beneath her veil to from all harm that's uh, when the egyptians are pursuing us let's hide behind our veil as we continue this journey um let me um say that prayer beneath your compassion we take refuge virgin theotokos 
Despise not our prayers and our necessity, but deliver us from harm, O only pure, only blessed one. I would have sung this, but I'm afraid I'll, I'll uh, cough, so I won't attempt that tonight. Um, but I pray that uh, we can take this opportunity as we uh, come to the end of, towards the end of this uh, London journey, which, uh, uh, which I hope and pray that it's been a blessing for each one of us, um, that we will um, realize that each one of us have a calling to be Theotokos, and we are blessed to have a sacramental life in the church. Uh, we know what happened to the Israelites. We can, uh, we know that there were struggles, but God took care of them, and we are given what we need uh, to walk towards the promised land. Um, so with that, I'll end. Uh, um, let, I'll show this icon, which is Prophet Moses and the crossing of the Red Sea. Uh, just as Moses took them out of Egypt, Christ takes us out of uh, our slavery to sin and has uh, set us on this journey towards the promised land. And that life is our life in the church. Uh, I pray that uh, your life in the church will continue to be blessed. Uh, may all glory and honor be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, I want to thank Wolchibu um, Achin, Ebi Achin, and all, all, all those who have helped uh, organize this. Uh, thank you for having me once again and uh, uh, keep me in prayers. And glory to God, I didn't really have a cough attack. So thank you for your prayers as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sina. Ni uh, otak thanks, Anna. Namada Tramanohirum, Anigra Pradoma, your convention leg and Amen Naicha, Krupeka, Deva Krupeka, Devitin Spudika Retuno. Sina, some of the Parayanangilla Kadinya, May eighteen, nineteen twenty, the early date. A holy trinity retreat center in Arthapata, Matamari Mendas, my annual retreat in Nam Elavirum. Zina had a teaching skills, neither the part of Luji Charanya Verana. Other one died, Kyam, Shibu Achen, Zina in the time message in Vendi, selected on the Nikitunu. In the time message, Namada Saint Mary Theotokos and Namakala Kariam, she explained of becoming Theotokos through our sacramental life. She explained the work of Holy Spirit through each sacrament and how we, we can receive it. Our problems are uh, 